Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a ginormous Target haul. I have this humongous bag here. If you guys missed it, I did a really large Target shop with me video just kind of going over all the new stuff for spring and Easter. I have a upcoming trip and usually when I have trips, I like to like buy a bunch of stuff for it. I don't know. I always feel like I need new clothes for vacation. Let me know if you guys are the same way. But Target had so much good stuff. Like I usually don't have very good luck there with clothes, but I had such good luck this time with different clothing pieces and even decor items so we got a lot of stuff let's get into this haul all right let's do all the clothing stuff first so they had some really cute beachy stuff with wild fable which usually wild fable can be hit or miss for me sometimes it's a little bit too young for me sometimes the stuff is really small but I found a couple things that I really liked, including this little swim, little cover-up knit dress. I guess it's technically a dress, but I would use this as a swim cover-up. I'm trying to decide if I love it. I love the pattern and everything, but I also have another one, which I think I like a little bit better. You guys will have to let me know in the comments if I should keep or return but I just, I love anything kind of 70s style. This just reminds me of 70s for some reason, and I think it is pretty cute. I got an extra large in it. It does tie up in the back, so you can make it as tight or go up as high as you want, and it's just kind of a straight down fit. But yeah, you totally could wear it as a dress, but yeah, I just feel like it's more of a swim cover-up personally for me, so I did get this one, and it was $20. So this is the other one that I was talking about, and I think I might like this one a little bit more just because it's a little more wearable for me it's not as crazy it's this kind of off-white colored one now this one the only downside is it is a little bit see-through which kind of sucks but it has like this almost crochet looking detail on it and I absolutely love the little tie because it has these cute little beads on it which I just think is adorable I also got this one in an XL again $20 for this one I'm just worried if it'll be to see through but I just feel like it's more wearable for me. I did buy this little button up. This is actually by the Kona Soul brand which is their swimwear line. <laughs> so I thought this would be nice just to throw on. Maybe walking to and from the pool. It's pretty long more oversized so you know you can have your swimsuit on and then throw this on. Maybe when you get out of the pool you want to cover up a little bit go grab some lunch or something. I thought that's what this could be good for and it seems like it's a nicer material that hopefully wouldn't maybe get as wrinkled let's see this is the large and it was $28 so I thought that would be something nice to have so I'm obsessed with the stars above lounge line that Target has and I didn't know that they made just basic tees like this and I've been trying to find some just good affordable basic tees that don't shrink up and just fit right and these are honestly so good and they're the same softness as the stars above loungewear so you know it's just like incredible and so silky smooth on the skin so I just got this black tee from stars above it did come in a couple other colors this is $14.99 so very affordable as well. I hope this is going to keep its shape and hopefully wash well. Okay, so I went a little crazy in like the workout section because I pretty much live in like loungewear and I'm thinking for like summertime, I'm going to really like to wear some of these things around the house and like going on walks. I love to do that in the summer. So I just, I got a bunch of stuff. They have some really good stuff that feels like really good quality as well. Uh, so I got this. This kind of reminds me of something Lululemon or Free People would have. I loved this pink color so this is just a ribbed little sports bra I guess you could wear it as a little crop top as well it has the kind of crisscross in the back but yeah this one's quite short so I would probably wear it more like a sports bra but this is from Joy Lab it's an XL and this was $22 but yeah I just love this color they do have matching shorts in this color too also from Joy Lab I picked up one of their longer bra tops now these you can kind of wear as just like a tank like I could honestly just wear this with jeans if I wanted to but it also works for you know workouts because it has the extra padding in the bra and everything so it is a bra top. This was going for $22 and again it's that same ribbed material. This is kind of like a faded black so kind of almost a blackish gray and it has the v-neck here. Really like this. And with that same material, they have some biker shorts. So I picked these up and holy crap, these like snatch you in. Like they are very tight, but 
they will snatch your waist so good. I always have trouble because I'm an apple shape, so I carry a lot of my weight in my boobs and my stomach. It's not the most flattering, but I feel like this, you know, it cinches you in and it looks really good on. So I did grab a XL in these again because they are fitted and these are $20, but oh my gosh, I love them. I could see myself wearing these a ton this summer. Um, even with the different sports bras and with t-shirts and stuff like that. I really love their Joy Lab line. I also picked out these little shorts. I saw these last year um, and I never picked any up because I didn't like the colors they had because they can be a little bit see-through. But these are supposed to be a free people, I think, dupe and they have built-in underwear which is interesting so you would think that it wouldn't be see-through but if you get the lighter colors you can definitely see everything and i don't really like that so that's why i went for the black ones but i also really like these again just for summertime throw on a tee and go these were 24 dollars, and besides how thin they are they do feel really good on and then this is another workout top. It's actually from the All In Motion line. So I grabbed this. Again, it's another kind of bra tank, but I just really think these are going to be nice to have. Throw on with leggings or something. So this one is, let's see, an XL, and it's $22. Again, it has the built-in pads. I took the padding out because I feel like their padding is huge, and you could kind of like see it in the fabric so I took the padding out and it seems to be just fine without it so love all these nice workout tops I also picked up this graphic tee so I always love to check out Target's graphics but a lot of the times their graphics they're not always the fit that I like they can be kind of thin and just like a little too true to size I like more oversized so you can actually find these wild fable ones which are definitely an oversized fit I actually ended up getting a small but I picked up this fun butterfly one and it reminded me of something you would get at Urban Outfitters which this is actually from Urban it's just a little the doors sweatshirt and yeah I could totally see them having something like this so went ahead and grabbed that too which again will be so cute with biker shorts and the last clothing item I got were these Wild Fable little chunky platform wedges, I guess you would say. They kind of remind me of like Doc Martin style, but I just thought this would be cute to bring with me on the cruise with some of the dresses. They're not the best quality, but they are pretty comfortable, and I love that they have this just fun and chunky design. So I just thought that these were kind of cute. What do you guys think? <laughs> Let me know down below. Okay, I did get some fun decor pieces as well while I was at Target. I always like to check their little dollar spot section or Bullseye's Playground, I guess it's called now. They have this cute little, I guess you would call it a Lazy Susan, but it spins. It's a nice little round table here. This was $5. It's marble, and I just feel like you could store anything on this. Always looking for new ways to decorate. You could put perfume on this, anything that you want, so... I picked that up. I thought this was a nice little piece just to add something. Um, this little spear, this was only $3 and it'll just be nice. I think I might put it in my living room. I have a lot of fun counter space that I could use this for. Okay, these little knit signs were just the cutest. They honestly look handmade. This one says, Hello Spring. So I picked that one up just to add some spring touches again in my living room. So adorable. This was $5. And then I absolutely loved the kind of pink glass this just looked very vintage to me and it looks like something very 70s there's a lot of stuff you could store in here it looked like it'd be nice for the bathroom like you know storing cotton rounds or ear swabs something like that in there this was five dollars but yeah i just thought it was really cute I also had to get the viral bear little honey jar. This has been trending all over and I just, I couldn't resist. I don't know yet what I'm going to put in here. You guys had some pretty good ideas though, but honestly I might just store like sugar or something in it or coffee. This was $5. I don't want to store honey in it just because this is huge. <laughs> so I don't really feel like that's necessary, but it is just the cutest little thing ever. 
And then I also picked up this skincare product. I saw this new brand and I was so curious about it. It's called Future Wise. This is their Slug Cream Barrier Repair Moisturizer. And I'm all about a good barrier cream and this packaging is just so fun. I feel like fun packaging just makes me want to use the product more so I can appreciate the design. But that's what the pump looks like. I can't wait to try this. It even has a little slug on the back. But basically slugging is like using like a petroleum jelly all over the skin so that your face is kind of sticky like a slug but it really locks in all the moisture so it's been all the rage lately and last but not least i actually picked up some new pans i really needed some and i wanted to get some that didn't have like teflon on it i heard that the teflon can kind of get in your food like when you're scraping and stuff like that so i'm like okay i want to try something else so i got the green pan which is a diamond enhanced ceramic non-stick it says free of pfa PFOA lead in cadmium. I really liked how these were pink so I don't know they're just fun and I really needed some new ones so I grabbed those from the green pan and they're actually like quite affordable for this whole set. I think it was like $60. So that is everything I picked up at Target. I will have all this stuff linked down below. I feel like we had some really good finds like I never buy this much at Target at once. This was just like a one-time kind of thing but maybe we're gonna have some more luck. I don't know. You guys know I like to film these every couple months or so so maybe they'll have even more exciting things. I just feel like they just keep getting better and better. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.